get one? I think we did. I, I think more than just the performance, we've got a response from the boys, and, and they put in a, a massive shift. Exactly what we asked for, and you know they worked incredibly hard, and the conditions today made it tough. Um, but I think that start just about got us our noses in front, and we managed to hold on, and then Max Trimble managed to finish it off with a lovely try. A really great start to the game. Quick ball, lots of continuity. Yeah, exactly. And the boys have had a really tough week. You know, losing three on the bounce is not good. Um, it's, it's hit the morale a little bit, and the confidence was low. So to get that good start really settled them and settled their nerves a little bit. The crowd got behind them, and we kicked on a little bit. We just had to. Just had to hold on at the end and, uh, and dig in against the wind and, uh, and, and hold out for that win. Do you think you had enough points at half time? I don't think you've ever got enough points, have you? <laughs> um, I, I, I felt we had an, enough of a cushion to relax a little bit and to be able to be a bit more clinical, but the playing into the wind was difficult and we made a couple of errors and, and so did they, but you know, it's a good response all round and uh, we're pretty happy. Scottish came out of traps in the second half, those two early tries, did you? Uh, were you worried at any stage? for 80 minutes. Um, I think you know those those tries hit us, and uh, as, I, as I touched on earlier, the, the, the confidence is a bit shaky at the moment. It's a bit wobbly, and it, it took a, a gutsy group of players to come back out and dig in and, and create that try for Trimble. A marvellous try by Trimble out of the blue, really, 75 yarder. Exactly, and that's what that kid can do when he's uh, hasn't played for a few months. Let's see when he's a bit sharper. Towards the end, you're hanging on, but. Uh, did your, uh, the boys and the crowd really got behind them together? Absolutely, this crowd is um, probably there's a difference today, you know, it's not much between the two sides before the game, there's not much during the game but the crowd was our 16th man as normal and it kept, it kept us going. Next week, an away game, first win? Exactly, yeah, and that, that's probably the key point that this win today doesn't pay for over any cracks. Um, our away game prep and our, uh, you know, all the analysis that we're going to do on Ealing and so on starts already in here. We're prepping up. Our mindset's got to be right from now onwards. The injuries really disrupted you, particularly in the backs. How are they looking for uh, the next few weeks? Well, the Sharpies failed his HIA, that's why he had to come off. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't good to lose Stokesy so early on in the game, and it's something that's been plaguing him with that hamstring for a few weeks. And we thought it was good before the game, but obviously not. He took a bang on it a couple of minutes in. Uh, Andy Bill and Macau was hanging on at the end. Uh, I think they all were, to be honest, with some tired bodies and, and the old man to a depot doing another 80 minute shift. It's a, it's a tough day. Walsh, you might be getting his boots out. And Deke's probably as well, yeah. <laughs>